Sid, for Christ's sake, you made me buy that friggin' Dyson, and I can't make the pissing thing. Oh, that's. That's. My girlfriend. Right. So she's in Scotland and she doesn't know I can see her. Right. Because. Oh, fuck, no. Fuck. 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 Myself, though, my brownies are usually delicious. I've really excelled myself. This is my third already. <laughs> Rum, I'm gonna have three. Thanks, Mum. Yeah, sure. Wow. Listen to that. Can you hear the music? Oh, yeah. <gasps> Mum? Oh, it sounds. What's it doing? Oh, wow! Yeah, I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm telling you, that is a fucking good shit. <laughs> what have you done? Eat a cake, Panda. It's gonna be a long night. Thanks, Effie. But you know, this is the best birthday present I could have. Nice family meal. Chance to have a bit of quality time. Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> you know, this reminds me of when I was a boy and my auntie Mabel, when she was carving the chicken, she always used to wear these really loose-fitting tops. And... Yeah, I, um, yes, I think we all heard this one, haven't we? It's a joke, Anthea, an anecdote. And my dad, your grandfather, God rest his soul. Uh, what would you like, David? She used to say, and he'd look right down her front and say, I'd like breast, please, Mabel. And then maybe a bit of leg and stuffing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he'd basically growl at her. See, that's a difficult dad. No one thinks you're difficult, Jim. <laughs> and then Mabel would get to me. Oh, what could I ask for? Scoured my brain and came up with thigh, please, Mabel. <laughs> <laughs> I basically asked for the only thing I could think of that was non sexual thigh. Well, thighs can be sexy. That's not true. You'd be surprised you can do a lot with thighs, Dad. No, you can't. Look, I'm sorry, what is so sexy about thighs? I mean, what on earth can you do with a thigh? He's not, not in front of Effie, Jim. Right. What would everyone like? Like a bit of thigh, please, Dad. Mum! 
a respectful boy at least wears something in bed. <laughs> Happy birthday, little boy. I'm 17, Mum. I'm not a little boy anymore. So it would seem. <laughs> now hurry up. Everybody's waiting downstairs for you. You know, I cheated on your mum once. <gasps> I was young. I was too young. I was 19. I've been married for two years. Here, family. Always saying what's what. Scottish people. God knows I regretted it. Your Auntie Julie's no better looking now than what she was then. Her sister. People do stupid things when they try to act like they're not trapped. Was it ever the same again? It was worse. And then it was OK. And then it got better. And then we got you. And we got all the things we love. She hate herself for taking you back. What? Hate herself? What for? She didn't do anything wrong. She hated me, though, for a very, very, very long time. She's tough, your mum, you know. You want to be glad of that. I'm not like her, Dad. That's OK, too. You need to stop being a bitch to me. Oh, shut up. Fuck my house up, I see. Sorry. Where's Grace gone? Very sad to say. Actually, she died yesterday afternoon. I just spoke to her, I speak to her all the time. Me too. What else is there to do? She never woke up, did she, from the accident? That's why we went to Switzerland. To see if they could wake her up. I just wanted to try it, you know? So all this time she was... They said there was nobody left inside. I just thought, what would she think of me for turning off the stupid machine thing? What would she think? She would have thought that you're her dad and that's what you're supposed to do. Love me, you know. Yes. That's why I'm here. Thank you.